In this video, let's learn about the supination and the pronation. The movements of the supination and pronation play an important role in performing the skilled movements of the hand. When the elbow is semi-flexed, that is mid-prone in position, the palm is turned upwards in the supination and downwards in the pronation. The actions of supination and pronation can easily be remembered by a mnemonic that beggars supinate and the kings pronate. So the supination is remembered as the beggars, supinate and the kings, pronate. The supination and pronation are the rotatory movements of the forearm which occur at the superior and inferior radio ulnar joints around a vertical axis. For a video on the superior and inferior radio ulnar joint, you can click on the i button. So these supination and pronation are the rotatory movements of the radio ulnar joint. around a vertical axis and this axis is oblique and it passes from the center of the, that is from the head of the radius that is here above and it passes to the base of the styloid process of the ulna below in the axis of movement of the supination and pronation is not at all stationary it moves forward and medially during the process of the supination that is like this and this is the supination and it moves backward and laterally during the pronation and morphologically the movements of the supination and the pronation are evolved for picking up of the foot and taking it into the mouth so the pronation for easy remembrance foot picking or the picking up of the foot and put in the mouth is the supination in this diagram, we will talk about the supination. This is the ulna, the radius. And this red color indicates the axis of the movement. So in supination, the radius and ulna lie parallel to each other. And in pronation, there is a rotation. As you can see it here, this is the ulna. And this is the radius. And this is the prone position or the dorsal aspect of the hand. And this is the palmar aspect. So in the pronation, there is a rotation of the lower end of the radius along with the articular disc on the head of the ulna. As a result, the lower end of the radius crosses in front of the lower end of the ulna. So you can see the crossing of the radius in front of the lower end of the ulna. And simultaneously, the head of the radius rotates within the fibrooseous ring that is formed by the annular ligament and the radial notch on the ulna. So it comes in the inferior radial ulna joint and the head of the radius rotates within the fibrooseous ring that is formed by the annular ligament and that is attached to the radial notch of the ulna. And now let's learn about the muscles which are helpful in the process of supination and pronation. The first one is the supination. This muscle is the biceps brachii and this muscle is the supinator. And the muscles helpful in the process of the supination is the supinator, the biceps brachii as the biceps brachii supinates the forearm while the elbow is flexed. So remember while the elbow is flexed, it supinates the forearm. And the third muscle is the brachioradialis. This brachioradialis supinates the pronated forearm to the mid-prone position. So pronation to the mid-prone position. And now let's talk about the muscles which are involved in the process of the pronation. In this diagram, this muscle is the pronator teres and this is the pronator quadratus. As the muscle name indicates the pronator, its action is the pronation. So the muscles those are helpful in the pronation are the pronator teres the pronator quadratus and the brachioradialis. The brachioradialis pronates the supine forearm to the mid-prone position. So it pronates supine forearm into the mid-prone position. Remember the brachioradialis muscle is the pronator and the supinator. That means in the process of the pronation, it pronates the supinated forearm to the mid-prone position. And in the process of the supination, the brachioradialis supinates 
the pronated forearm into the mid prone position. So the brachioradialis comes into the supinator muscle and into the pronator muscle. And some points to remember, the flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus and the gravity also help in the process of the pronation. And remember the process of supination is more powerful than the process of the pronation because the supination has the anti-gravity moment and it is performed by the powerful muscles named the biceps brachii and the pronation is less powerful than the supination because it is performed by the less powerful muscles like the pronator quadratus and the pronator teres and that is why the supination movements are used for tightening the nuts and the bolts during the work whereas the pronation movements are used for loosening or opening the nuts and bolts as it requires very much strength and it doesn't require that much of strength so guys this is all about the supination and the pronation if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists